For many people in the D.C. area, running is routine. I try to run every day, about six to eight miles. I literally am in a zone when I run, and I don't think about anything else but me. It's the most selfish thing you can do, but it's the most healthy thing you can do. But just last week, this daily habit turned deadly for two women in the Northeast. The female runners, who both set off in broad daylight, never returned home, police discovering their bodies within hours. That's scary. I take that seriously. Many female runners say they always think about their safety before leaving the house. Daylight is the big thing, and then also usually this trail is packed. But what if, like those two women, you do go out in the daylight and you still run into trouble? <laughs> Self-defense expert DJ Stevens says there are several things you can do to stay safe, whether you're running, walking, or biking. You have to make sure that you're always aware of your surroundings. If, you, if you're jogging or if you're walking and you have like headphones on and somebody's coming behind you, you, you won't hear them. Stevens also recommends running with a buddy, varying your routine, and saving your energy for the most secluded part of your route. And the most important tool? Stevens says it's something everyone has. Your voice is your first line of self-defense. Stop! No! Get back! Help! Has saved lives more than any Kung Fu, Krav Maga, you know, Taekwondo, whatever. Your voice. Learn to use your voice. For Boot Camp 2016, I'm Mandy McClendon.